Well, today we're going to be painting Leela from the Warlord Games 4th Doctor and Companion set. There she is. So we're going to be painting Leela today. Uh, one of my favourite of the original classic series companions. Louise Jameson was an excellent actress and uh, Leela was an excellent character. So we're going to paint her. She's got a lot of flesh on her, so we're going to mix a normal flesh tone which is Canadian flesh Canadian Cadian even flesh tones and then lightened and thinned with a little bit of light flesh so now let's get a layer of that one There we go, so we're going to let that dry. Now I'm going to add uh, another coat and then we can come back and shade it. Okay, so the flesh is dry, so we're just going to use some Citadel Wakeland Flesh Shade. It's my favourite flesh shade, just to bring out some of the details. So we're going to let that dry, then we can come back and do some dry brushing. Okay, so the flesh wash is dry, so we're just going to use a lightened version of the flesh colour, just to do a bit of dry brushing, just to bring out the, the highlights. That one's a little bit large, so I might have to touch that one up a bit. There we go. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to paint her hair. And uh, Leela's got very dark brown hair, almost black, so I'm going to use... Actually not, I'm going to go for a darker brown. I'm going to use Rhinox Hide. Same brown just to do her eyebrows. Just going to use a lighter brown to do her eyes in with. I'm going to use the same light brown to do her knife sheath. And then her bodice is a lighter brown, so I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of the uh, Revel colour, not my favourite paints. It's interesting that normally uh, Warlord get the costumes spot on, but this one they've done like almost a bikini back on Leela's costume and it wasn't, it covered her whole back. And this, this is a variant that I wasn't aware of. And she's also yoga colour. There's a little bit here. Right, let's get her pupil and the top of her eye just in some black. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. So 
So I'm going to go back to the dark brown for her skirt section. And her boots. She's also got some armbands on. And I'm going to use the lighter brown to do her right necklace. And it's light brown and almost a tan colour again. Tiny little bit of flesh mission, yeah, missing from her knee. Let's just put that on. And then the stitching is red, and I'm going to use the fist on red because it is lovely and covers really well. I'm going to paint the knife handle in black and then when I put silver on the blade it will look better. Black Silver always goes better on black. And some of that tan colour I'm just going to use to do the necklace. For the knife handle. And also just to touch up on how I've handled the boot. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll dry brush a bit of white over. Just okay. So Leela's now dry. So I'm just going to do silver on the blade, and then a bit of white dry brushing. And for the silver, I'm just going to use Moonfang Steel. So as you can see, when you undercoat in black for a silver or gold finish. It goes on really nicely. And there we go. So now just some very light dry brushing in white, just to bring out some of this detail. Leela, so I'm just going to put some grass on the base and she'll be finished so we'll come back and have a look at her. So there she is. I think it's a really nice figure. One of the better Leela's I've seen. I think Fasa did one was a bit chunky. Yeah I like that. That's uh, a good figure and that's going to go well in the collection. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these figures. I'll be doing the others in the Fourth Doctor's range one by one. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.